The next part of step six is writing the body of your press release. The article body is the biggest part of your press release and includes the bulk of your text. This is where you tell your readers about your news by providing answers to the five cardinal questions. Who, what, why, where, when, and how. When writing your article body, try to keep both the sentences and paragraphs short. This makes them easier to read. One line per sentence and three or four lines per paragraph are ideal. Also, keep your tone professional and avoid using slang, industry-specific acronyms, or jargon. While there isn't a widely accepted standard for article length, we found that longer is definitely better. Newswire requires a minimum of 350 words, but most effective articles are more than 500 words. Newswire will allow you to post up to 4,000 words in a single press release. The dateline of your article will have been made for you in Step 2 and must be included in your article body. Make sure that the lead paragraph helps the reader know exactly what the article will be about. Remember, just as all your previous writing has been crafted to encourage your readers to go deeper into your article, so the lead paragraph should encourage your readers to go on. In the following paragraphs, be sure to stay on topic and provide relevant information. This is where you answer the five W's and the H questions. However, a great strategy is to always leave them wanting more, providing links that your readers can follow for that information. After all, one of the primary objectives of a press release is to have your readers take an action. If you keep that desired action in mind, it will help you craft a more effective presentation of the facts. In the concluding paragraph, give a recap of the news content of your article. All important information should have already been shared, so it's time to summarize and restate your key points and once again, give the reader a reason to follow a link to your website. The last section of the article body, the About Us section and the contact information, should have both been made in Step 2. If you want to change the way this information appears in your article body, it's best to make those changes under the Step 2 tab. As I mentioned in a previous video, in order to avoid formatting issues, it's best to write your article body in Notepad or Text Edit, then copy and paste into the Newswire article editor. The Newswire Tiny MCE Editor allows you infinite options to customize your press release. Click on the various buttons and discover the possibilities. You should use the Newswire Editor to build all of your links, but more about links in another video. You can also use the Editor to insert additional photos into your release, or format your article in hundreds of different ways. Newswire even allows you to edit the HTML of your article, opening the possibilities of embedding videos, Facebook posts, or any number of rich media snippets into your press releases. Your imagination is your only limit when it comes to the ways you can use this editor to create custom layouts and unique content for your press releases. Before leaving Step 6, be sure to save your release as a draft and preview. The preview will show you exactly what your article will look like when viewed by the public. Be sure to make any changes you need before moving on. Once you submit your article, it will be locked while Newswire editors review it for publication.